A Ponte Vedra Beach man is in the hospital with extensive injuries after he was hit by a pickup truck while he was biking a few miles south of Michaelers Landing. And his family is hoping someone out there will have information to lead investigators to the driver who struck him and then just drove away. Greg Helms was training for an Ironman competition Thursday afternoon, riding his bicycle in the bike lane along A1A south of Michaelers Landing when he was hit by a white pickup truck throwing him into the bushes. He was discovered by a car that was actually in front of the white pickup truck that saw the crash happen. So we have a pretty good identity of the vehicle that hit Greg. Unfortunately, the, uh, the driver of the white truck did not stop. I got a call about 2.15 that um, was an unknown number and it just said, Deanna, do not hang up, I'm with your husband. And um, emotions took over and uh, we stayed on the phone with them um, until the ambulance uh, and the, the police got there. Deanna Helms' husband, an avid triathlete, was rushed to the hospital where she met him. He broke his back, lumbar L1. He fractured his left wrist, part of his left leg and four fractured ribs. Aside from his wife, his family has not been able to visit him in the hospital due to the coronavirus. He's going to try to get back um, home, hopefully this weekend. We have a lot of help, but unfortunately, you know, you just can't bring a lot of people over because of the virus. Um, so people still can't visit him even when he's discharged. That's unfortunate. While the Florida Highway Patrol investigates this hit and run, Helms hopes someone will come forward with information leading them to the driver who hit her husband. It's really difficult, but um, I just want him to have a full recovery, that's all. Now, the Helms' attorney believes that it was a white Chevy Silverado 2016 to 2018 pickup truck that hit him and has damage to the right passenger side. Now, they are hoping that neighbors who live in the 1000 to 1400 block of A1A in Ponte Vedra will take a look at their surveillance video, any ring cameras or anything they may have in that area to see if they captured this truck on Thursday afternoon. And we'll post more details about how you can give that information to them in the story on firstcoastnews.com.